This is a case history of a 23-year-old male who on February 16th, while snow skiing, jumped off a 15-foot cliff onto what he believed to be six feet of powder snow. He instead landed on a boulder under one foot of snow, landing on his left ski, sustaining a vertical crushing injury to his left leg, fracturing his tibia and fibula. He also completely tore his posterior tibial tendon and Achilles tendon and destroyed the left ankle joint capsule. There is significant nerve damage, lymph, and circulatory damage to the left ankle and foot. This is pictures of initial x-rays in the emergency room on February 16th, 2021. They stabilized him and booted him and then sent him home and then he returned for uh, surgery on February 17th for external fixation. After the external fixation, <clears throat> he received a CT scan uh, which shows the significant loss of bone in the tibia due to the crushing fracture. He received his second surgery on February 26 for internal fixation of the left ankle and was booted and non-weight bearing. He, I initially saw this patient March 5th through March 7th uh, for evaluation. And this just shows the internal fixation And then the scarring that had occurred with the surgery. <clears throat> Upon initial evaluation, uh, he presented with one out of five strength and significantly impaired active range of motion and passive range of motion, as well as foot drop and inability to move his toes. I began treating him once a day for two hours for March 5th, 6th, and 7th to reestablish lymph and reestablish circulation in the left foot and ankle with lymph drainage, uh, lymph fascia, and primovascular system, as well as the neuroembryological release of ligaments and tendons and fluid articular release in the left foot and ankle, focusing on lymphatic vessels around the ligaments and muscles of the left foot and ankle. The patient was treated one time per day for three days. I also performed heart center therapy and the protocol for PTSD in the brain curriculum. He received two treatments, one and a half hours each for the heart center therapy and PTSD. Of note, I live and practice in Oregon and the patient lives in Utah. The patient responded well to treatment with increased lymph flow through uh, the remapping techniques to the leg, foot, and ankle, and the focus on the scar tissue, and particularly the uh, keloid formation that started to occur in the left ankle. And this is uh, 11 days uh, post-treatment, uh, uh, showing the effect of the lymph. And again on the 22nd, uh, showing the effectiveness uh, that continue to occur with the lymph treatments. He returned for further treatment on April 2nd and 3rd, uh, where he received two treatments to reestablish lymph and circulation in the left foot and ankle as well as uh, working with the fluid articular release, uh, lymph fascia and primovascular system, and the neuroembryological 
uh, release of ligaments and tendons in the left foot and ankle, uh, followed by the brain, cranial rhythm, and bone marrow protocols that I had recently been trained in. Uh, and these to promote bone growth in the left tibia. Uh, treatment lengths were two and a half hours each treatment. He returned uh, on the 14th, 15th, and again on the 28th and 29th of May, uh, where we focused on uh, the same protocols and then also focused on heart center therapy, uh, hologram, and uh, trauma, trauma memory release work. The patient was reevaluated by his orthopedic physician on May 10th, and again, there was very little bone growth noted on May 10th. Uh, physical therapy for exercise and mobilization were continued, and the patient was given 30 more days to try to see if there would be more bone growth occur that would occur. However, the physician stated that he did not think that that was going to happen and that he was planning on uh, doing surgery for a bone graft uh, from the proximal tibia to the fracture site uh, in 30 days, so uh, the first uh, week in June. So as you can see on the May 10th visit with the orthopedic surgeon, uh, the lack of bone growth uh, in the tibia was concerning. After I had treated him for the month of uh, April and May, which is the time that was uh, given to him, uh, there was substantial bone growth that occurred. The patient was reevaluated by the orthopedic physician on June 7th, uh, uh, 2021. And the patient reports that the orthopedic physician saw the x-rays and was amazed at the bone growth, growth and the healing that had occurred in the tissue of the left foot and ankle. The patient stated uh, that the uh, physician was going to put money on the patient needing to have the bone transplant and grafting. And instead, the patient was given permission to be weight bearing as tolerated with a boot and crutches and uh, was given permission to return to work and to continue physical therapy in Utah two times a week for exercise and mobilization. And again, this is June 7th. So the patient returned, um, and this shows the tissue healing that had occurred through the um, remapping of the lymph, uh, where the lymph had been destroyed, the lymph vessels had been destroyed, and the tissue healing that had occurred uh, was significant. So the patient returned on June 25th, 26th, and 27th, walking without assistance with two out of five strength and plantar flexion of the toes. He received three treatments, uh, two hours each treatment, focusing on lymph remapping and drainage, fascia primovascular system, and the neuroembryological release of ligaments and tendons in the left foot and ankle, followed by the brain protocol uh, for uh, with cranial rhythm and bone marrow. I also continued treatments uh, utilizing fluid articular release of the lymphatic vessels around the ligaments and muscles of the left foot. And the patient received a heart center therapy treatment uh, focused on the diaphragm protocol. Uh, following treatment, he had two plus out of five strength in the toes, including dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the toes and has begun to have active range of motion into inversion. The plan at this time is to continue treatment one to two uh, weekends per month uh, as needed. Thank you very much uh, for listening to this presentation.